USA Monde. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Sunday Talk episode number 37. Um, uh, today, uh, I'm going to go over some of the questions uh, you guys uh, send me on YouTube. Uh, some of the questions um, uh, that are uh, important I want to share uh, with you guys and uh, also, uh, you know, I'll share my reply to those questions uh, with you, okay? So, um, you know, as always, uh, I want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. Uh, I hope uh, you start your, your, your day on uh, good. Uh, without wasting our time over here, let, let's get started, okay? So the first question today is going to come from um, Emma Demia. Does each page of the uh, i 64 form have to be scanned and uploaded separately? Or can they all be scanned at once and upload as one PDF, uh, okay? So... You know, uh, when you f uh, fill up your IA64 uh, form, you know that there is a lot of uh, pages, okay? I don't remember exactly how many pages, but, you know, in order for them to uh, upload them to NVC Computer Electronic Application Center, you have to scan them, okay? Even if you fill up the form, like, on, on your computer, uh, you, you have to print it out to sign it because, you know, if you don't sign it, uh, NVC will reject it. So, you have to print it out, sign it, and then scan it save them on the computer and then upload them to the computer electronic application center but you cannot just do it one by one you know i show you how to pull all those on, on files together you know once you scan them then you have to pull them together you know as a one pdf file and then upload them to on um, computer electronic application center that's how you do it, okay uh, let's move to another question here this one is gonna come from nazan smiley uh, I need help on how to get uh, correct uh, two megabytes uh, with so many pages. Um, I try to compress and uh, I can't get it uh, to the correct size. Uh, <clears throat> I need, uh, excuse me, I need a uh, major help on uh, with how to do it correctly. Uh, help. Uh, well, um, you know, um, when you scan uh, your document, you know, this 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 uh, question, you know, goes, uh, you know, with the the one I just answered. When you scan your document, uh, you make sure the document doesn't uh, go over two megabyte because if it's uh, bigger than two megabyte, um, then you're gonna have a problem to to upload it. Okay, the, the, uh, you're gonna get error every time. So you have to compress your document to at least down to uh, two megabyte or at least up to uh, two megabyte, no more than two megabyte. Okay. Some people think they have to have uh, exactly like two. The, you know, the the size have to be two megabyte exactly no it, it no it doesn't work like that it's gonna have you're gonna have a hard time to you know uh, make your your size on two megabyte make sure it's under either under two megabyte or i make two megabyte no more than two megabyte okay even if it's on 196 that's fine 190 that's fine you know but make sure it doesn't go over two megabyte let's move to another question here This one is coming from Gabby Gutierrez. Uh, please help. My mom's petition is getting uh, terminated. What can I do? Um, well, you know that when you file your uh, I-130 petition and um, uh, your uh, actually NVC contacts you, send you a welcome letter to start the uh, immigrant visa uh, process, uh, if you don't do anything, okay, you don't reply to NVC, you don't pay, you don't you don't pay fees, you didn't pay fees, um, you didn't uh, uh, submit uh, the required documents, stuff like that, and uh, if you don't do anything after twelve months, NVC will terminate your I one thirty, okay? NVC will terminate your I one thirty, and that's the case over here. Uh, the, this lady is talking about, so. If NVC terminate your I-130 uh, petition, what you can do is um, uh, within two years, okay? So let's say after 12 months, they terminated uh, your uh, I-130 petition, and then you wait uh, till, um, you know, you have like another year basically to, you know, call NVC or send them a letter, you know, ask them that you reopen your I-130 petition, uh, to reinstate your I-130 petition, um, you know, but you have to give them uh, the reason why you didn't, uh, uh, you know, start your immigrant visa uh, process, okay? If it's, it's a reason that is out of your control, 
and you submit a, a request to NVC, like kind of inquiry to NVC uh, within um, uh, uh, within two years, basically, be because the first year is that's when they terminate, and then this, the second year that's when you have to uh, send the inquiry. If you do that uh, within that time frame, then NVC uh, uh, and uh, NVC will uh, reinstate your uh, your I want to petition. But the main thing is you have to prove them that whatever happened is out of your control. Okay, so that's how you got you're gonna do uh, in your mom's uh, situation. So this one is coming from Apple on um, on USA Mon. Thanks uh, for such a useful, informative, uh, informative uh, video. Uh, I found your video and channel a few days ago. I was looking for information about IA64W. Uh, I'm filing IA64W because I'm a widow of a U.S. citizen. Uh, my husband filed I-130 on um, before on his death. And then MVC convert a case onto a widow case. Now I have received an email from them asking for uh, file uh, A64W and financial evidence. What kind of financial evidence should I provide? Thanks again. Appreciate your help. Um, well, um, you know, for some of you guys who don't know, uh, when you petition your, your husband or your wife petition for you and. Uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, your spouse don't pass away, and uh, in this uh, NVC will convert your um, your petition to a widow uh, petition, meaning that you can now you can be self petitioner. Um, so once you become a self petitioner, then you have to uh, instead of uh, filing the regular I A sixty four, you're gonna file I A sixty four W, which is kind of like a waiver of the uh, affidavit of support itself. Okay. So in this situation, uh, uh, she said they're asking uh, her to provide the financial evidence. Because uh, normally, I don't think uh, uh, I -A for IA64W, you have to provide financial evidence. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if it, that's a mistake from NVC, or maybe that's the way it is, but I don't know. I didn't know. Um, but if you, if you work, then just provide your W-2 form, you know, information in the last three years. Um, you know, that's uh, information and in, uh, or your the letter of employment stuff like that, or if you have a bank statement, you, you say can uh, send it to them. So because they want the financial evidence, send it to them and see uh, what's gonna happen. Okay, because if they ask for it, then you don't send it. They might uh you know reject your application or something like that. Okay, so that's how you that's how you do it. Just send them or whatever financial evidence you have uh, as a tax return or W two form or. Your, you know, banking statement or stuff like that. This one is coming from King Me. Uh, King Me sent this on, uh, Sir, I made a mistake uh, after submitting the case. In the case, uh, they said that uh, if I have trouble, any to any country within five years, the answer no. But after submitting, I remember that I traveled to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, uh, after two two days, uh, I emailed them about uh, this issue. Will it be a problem? Please answer. Well, uh, you know, uh, this um, this question, actually, the person who's asking the question, this question is about uh, DS on 260. Um, you know, because uh, he, he sent a question under that, that, that video. So for DS-260, when you make a mistake on the form and uh, you don't have a chance to uh, to correct the, the form before you submit it, uh, sometimes there's nothing you can do. If it's like something very serious and the NVC will reject the, 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 the form and ask you to, you know, uh, fill it up again or correct the mistake. But most of the time, uh, you know, they don't say anything until you go to the interview. That's when they're going to ask you because at the interview, they're gonna pull all the information. All the information you provided, they're gonna you know pull those information and ask you questions regarding those information. So if you say you travel because um your passport in your passport, you know, you know there will be a record anyway. You know, um and there will be a record, you know, uh, I I ninety four on uh, records showing that you you travel. But if you say no, but they notice that you travel, they will ask you, did you travel? Then from there you can tell them that was a mistake. You know, show proof that you know it was a mistake or stuff like that. And then I won't, it won't be a big, a big deal, you know. But if they ask you, then you still saying no, you know. Uh, but they know for sure you travel, that can put you in trouble. 
Excuse me. So let me see here. Uh, this one is um is coming from uh, Mircini Mazara. Hi, sir. I'm a U.S. citizen. Uh, me and my husband uh, live abroad in the U.S. Uh, and filed for I-130 in August of 2019. We did uh, receive an uh, I-797C uh, notice of application. What is the next step uh, online? It says our case is being processed, uh, but uh, how much longer should it take? Uh, it's been six months for already. Well, you know, I always say this, uh, if uh, or the petition a U.S. citizen, usually it will take a six months, a little bit more than that, you know, depending on how busy USCIS is. Um, but, you know, the next step is going to be uh, 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 USCIS will approve your case and send you the uh, I-797. And then from there, uh, they will move your case to NVC, and then NVC will, you know, um, contact you and then, you know, send you the uh, case uh, number and the invoice ID to start the immigrant visa process, okay? Okay, this one is coming from uh, Dark Mara. Okay, uh, here is on Dark Mara's question: How is the process of counseling uh, of a petition uh, via phone, call, via mail, uh, and uh, can you still withdraw the petition if the case is already at the U.S. consulate, uh, U.S. consulate, and uh, just waiting for the interview? Well, uh, if you're trying to withdraw your I-130 petition, you know, you can do so um, before the uh, intended immigrant get a visa or the intended immigrant uh, uh, get a, a green card, okay? So in order to do that, you have to send uh, um, a letter to NVC explaining them the reason why you want to uh, withdraw the case. So basically, that's what you do, you know, let them know, you know, send them a letter and let them know, uh, you know, reason why you want to withdraw the case and stuff like that. So, um... Uh, you don't do it uh, via phone or or, or, or or email. Well, email, uh, yeah, I think you can do it by email, but it's more likely to do it by mail, you know. You do it by mail, but you don't do it by over the phone, okay? All right, let's move to another question here. Let me see here. So, okay, this one is coming from uh, Sylvia Ogden. What if the petitioner has no job and has a joint sponsor? Will it be uh, the petitioner still fill out the IA64 or the petitioner will just use the IA64 of the joint sponsor and attach a letter that the joint sponsor is willing to uh, support the applicant? Uh, please help me, sir. Thank you. Well, when you petition for your relative, um, first of all, you are the main uh, petitioner, the principal um, <clears throat> petitioner. So even though you have um, um, a joint sponsor, you still have to fill up the R A sixty four, the affidavit of support form, whether it's R A sixty four easy, whatever. But you still have to fill up the R A sixty four form, and on top of that, your joint sponsor is gonna fill up um, his or, or her R A sixty four as well, because both you. And uh, you, the principal petitioner, and the joint sponsor have to fill up uh, uh, the same affidavit of support. That's how it works. Even if you don't have a job, you still have to fill it up, okay? And then the last question going to come from, let me see here. The last question, last question. Oops. Okay, sorry, I'm going to go over this real quick. All right, so last question is going to come from uh, Rijo Raj. Do I need to submit church marriage certificate in uh, DS-260 or uh, assume government marriage certificate in our country? Um, uh, well, uh, you know, I think uh, the question is because, uh, uh, you know, some people do a traditional wedding and then do a uh, uh, civil uh, on wedding as well or you know they go to church or religious uh, wedding but you know one thing you have to know is that you know the traditional wedding is you know, uh, government doesn't you know see that you know they, they don't, there is any uh, paperwork you know uh, you know for those kind of 
on marriage. Maybe some country do that, but the main thing is your uh, on civil on marriage. Okay, that's why you're gonna upload the civil on uh, marriage certificate. Is the one you're gonna need to submit with your uh, when you're doing your immigrant visa process. Okay, that's how it works because that one has a date. You know, it's in um it's in a record of you know or whatever country you're from. It's in the um countries or uh, in the governments on uh, on uh, um you know file and stuff like that on uh, the system. Uh, so if the U.S. government wanna track that, you wanna wanna see is that if you guys uh, get married, or uh, you know they can you know you know do uh, they can call that uh, that country and then get information regarding your your marriage. See, so uh, to answer your question, yes, you have to upload on uh, the, the your um civil marriage on uh, document. Not the one you did at church because if the one you did at church, you know it, it won't it won't matter. But the civil one is the. Uh, the one you, you need okay so guys um, um it's gonna be the last question of uh, today's video uh, i hope you guys are uh, learning something from uh, this video it's not a long video but i know you guys have stuff to do i want to i don't want to hold you up uh, for so long and uh, whatever you do today do it peacefully and uh, some of you guys already come to church uh, i'm going to church right now and uh, i wish you guys a uh, happy sunday and uh, god bless you and i thought you guys on uh, uh, next sunday bye bye USA Monde